trends? You know, what, what's your, what's the def, what's your definition of a trend, and 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 the importance of identifying it? Um, well, my definition of a trend would be, I suppose, the same as everyone else's, when the market's clearly moving in in one direction, be it up or down. Um, I think it is important to identify it. For instance, my personal view is that the FTSE trend long term is that it's going up. Um, so personally, I think it's best to go long the FTSE long term rather than to try and short it. I think short, trying to short something like the FTSE is quite dangerous and you'd have probably lost your shirt if you'd have done that over the last few few months, because every time it's come down, you think, oh, this is it, it's going to crash, it just comes right back up again. So you've got to be very careful, I think, trying to short the FTSE at the moment. Um, but yeah, it, it does pay to trade with the main trends. In my opinion, the, the main trend of the FTSE is generally up at the moment, although you can have some pretty vicious pullbacks, as it did in October and December, had some pretty major pullbacks then. But again, that's where position size is so important because whereas previously those, those moves would have pretty much wiped out my account, they didn't really have that much of an impact this time. So yeah, you do have to be aware of the, of, of the trends, but it's so difficult sometimes to identify it with the FTSE because it, just the nature that it, the way it trades. What about getting into a trend? When's the right time and how do you avoid getting in too late or too early or does it not worry you? Uh, it tends not to worry me too much because, as I say, I tried to go for short-term uh, short term moves, but it's better to get into a trend early rather than late because the later you get into it, the more likely it is that it will turn against you. But then again, it's a, it's a bit dangerous trying to get in too early as well because the move may still have a long way to go. So. Uh, I don't tend to worry too much about the long-term trend in my actual trading strategy. I tend to look at sort of shorter-term moves and bounces, basically. Um, and what about establishing when a momentum is about to be lost and a trend change? That's very, very difficult. I mean, I tend to use, um, again, it's overbought and oversold uh, conditions, particularly the RSI indicator is, is very reliable and also candlesticks is another thing that works really well. You know, after a while when, you, when you've looked at the market for a long time you do start to see candlesticks forming over various time frames that give you a pretty good idea of what's going to happen. So if you've got a, even a five minute period where the market's ended very much in the top of its range where it's been down a lot but ended right at the top of that candlestick, chances are if you combine that with the fact that it's oversold as well is likely to be changing direction. It's not, again, it's nothing's 100%, but you have to look at all the various indicators and after a while you, you get an idea of what's likely to happen next.